Good morning everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to Happy at Home. Today I have a newly decorated room to share with you. I just finished putting the final touches on my spring dining room. It is the last room of the house that I've decorated for spring and it feels so amazing to finally have the whole house decorated and looking oh so pretty. So of course I wanted to share with all of you what I did and how it turned out. So let's get started. In an attempt to add a little pizzazz to my empty chalkboard, I printed out some botanical prints and hung them up in a grid pattern. To help hide the not so favorite color of my dining room table, I added my favorite white tablecloth. To start building a centerpiece, I added a distressed white tray. On top of that, I added a doily to add softness. To top it off, I added a floral arrangement in a glass jar. To make the flower arrangement, I started with three large silk peonies, and then I tucked in sprigs of boxwood for an extra added interest. The next items I added to the tray was a stack of plates. They have a beautiful floral print on them, and I topped it with a sugar bowl. And then I simply added a few of my favorite small spoons from my collection. I added another small white dish and filled it with more tarnished silver spoons, which apparently I can't seem to get enough of. To finish off the centerpiece, I added a set of vintage style salt and pepper shakers, and finally a single tea light candle holder for a little extra pop of sparkle. Moving on to the corner of the room, I added a faux barn door to the wall to give the space some texture. And then using a 3M command strip, I added a wicker basket to the front of the barn door. On the table underneath the barn door, I added a vintage style wire plant basket that I absolutely love. To fill the basket, I started with a beautiful floral platter and then added some greenery. Next, I added a stack of vintage books. To finish the display, I added this rustic arrow that I recently picked up from Hobby Lobby. I felt like the wall hanging needed a little something special, so I tied together some silk flowers with some jute twine and draped it over the barn door. Some handy dandy duct tape on the back side keeps everything in place. I think the flower bunch is exactly what this corner needed for a finishing touch. On the shelf below the table I added a beautiful wicker basket and some pillows to add some softness. The final area to decorate in the dining room is this desk area. I started by draping one of my favorite table runners over the desk to add some softness. I then replaced the lampshade with a new one that I recently found at the thrift store. On the other side of the desk, I replaced a basket display, which I'm still enjoying, but to add a little freshness to the mix, I added this vintage bird book. To add some interest to the opposite side of the desk, I placed a potted plant, a footed pedestal dish with a small bird's nest, and a sweet little bird. my friends, completes my spring dining room.
so there you go. That is what my final room of the house looks like for my spring decor. I really like how it turned out and I hope you did too. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you leave me a comment because I love to hear what you have to say about it. And of course, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now. Mm -hmm.